Good morning, good morning. Welcome to the breakfast show for the week starting 11th of March 2024. This morning, we will be focusing on the smart Roby US market. That's right. Now, last week, we did talk about the local Busan Malaysia market. So this week, for those of you who are keen to learn about the US market, what kind of stock we look at, this definitely this is the place you want to be. And let's take a look at what we have for you. So you can see from my chart just above my head here, you can see the S&P 500, which is the top 500 market capitalization still continue to go in a nice uptrend. Now, no doubt NASDAQ and NY uh, and the uh, Dow Jones has corrected, but Nasdaq continued to be strong. But what we are getting here, let me just show you in this chart, we're getting a two bar reversal, switching to a wider chart here, where the market marks up, but immediately sell down in here. That is also reacting to a couple of news, which we will be exploring here. Thank you for joining me this morning in here. Let's get on to our regular uh, uh, event, uh, what we're talking about. So the US market continue to break to new high, or is it continue to be distributing this March 2024? Now remember, January and February 2024 for the US market, they did move very highly up here. And it's been green Pentagon up signal for almost 12 bars for the Nasdaq. You can see from the, this is the future chart that you see. It's been going up in a nice bar in here, but the Dow Jones has red Pentagon. So we will also be reviewing some of the stage two shares and some of the stocks FA collection. Okay, the stock FA collection, which is some of those stocks that we talk about, has started the move up. And do you know in US, you can invest or trade fractional. So which means if a stock is a couple of hundred, uh, US dollar, you can buy less of them. And that's definitely you can do with a lot of the platform that we have in Malaysia. And also the latest one, which is Mumu, which has been launched. And I think it got a very, very good reception also in Malaysia. Those are the couple of uh, platform that you can trade off and it will do pretty well. So looking in the Pentagon Guider, you can see following the Smart Robby. So the apps can show market going up or down from here onwards all right with the insider buying and selling right now so this week if you look at the uh some of the s p 500 winners we have uh cvna i think this one is a car use sales and also we have coin now important why i show you this every time is understanding what has happened in here. So you can see this is a very nice uh, markdown when the red Pentagon market goes down and when it's ready to mark up in here, you can see all right below on the left hand side, just this is where we are talking about. Those are where we see the low volume accumulation. When the market marks up, you can see from here onwards, a nice trend from 120 to 240. That is almost a hundred percent return almost since 11 of February, which is about one month ago. And we can see that is also reflected on the uh, 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 cryptocurrency Bitcoin and something I will talk about last week already, right? So Bitcoin continue to hit new high. So join me this Wednesday too on the coming Wednesday night. I'll be talking about US market and crypto, uh, uh, Bitcoin cryptocurrency trading. So you can see how we can make good use and the opportunity that is available in this market here. The US market is really, really, really something booming, which I think many Malaysians are missing out on the big picture or maybe just the fear. And I do hope that this educational channel that I do in a live Facebook will certainly help you to move you up in the right target. Many Malaysians are really facing a lot of difficulty, but the openness uh, in the uh, in the mind, seeing new opportunity is somehow lacking, and they will eventually stick to what they know best, which is the Malaysian market. I'm not saying the Malaysian market is, is bad, but I'm also saying that there are opportunity where all of us hopefully were able to open up, and I don't see that. All right, two news that really drive this market in here. One of them is uh, U.S. Federal Reserve Jerome Powell continue to say that uh, rate cuts will likely to begin this year. And that's what's driving the stock market. You can see the bull horn, right, trying to cra crash through this piece of paper in here. So it's keep going up and people are very fearful of things they have never seen before. But by the time they interested in the market, it'll be too late. So that's why it's important. I've talked about uh, volume spread analysis, understanding the the market 
how it matches the market stages in here. And these are the things that I usually talk a lot on my Wednesday live show. And those of you who join, I think you would have benefit already. Now, knowing where the market is going will definitely put you right in the right spot. If you don't know how, maybe you want to join our program. And then we have our program through our supervised coaching and mentoring, which actually puts you right where you are looking at even better performance result before putting real money in here all you have to do is invest a bit of your time and understanding and the world of oyster opportunity will definitely be with you this morning now if you have any couple of stocks that you want me to look at in the u.s market pencil those in there and let me know as i said before in even beginning of 2023 the u.s market and this year will continue to be high but then again i think more importantly is we put our money where we think it is all right so let's take a look at the uh sector which which, which is very important to standard understand the u.s sector analysis just like we have in malaysia we have plantation we have uh, industrial we have finance we have consumer u.s is pretty much revolved around this etf exchange traded fund so we have the uh, xlc which is a communication doing very well the last three months slf which is the finance SLY? Let me uh, SLY is industrial, NDX is the Nasdaq, XLK is the technology, which is still up twelve percent. Uh, SBX is the S and P five hundred. Uh, XLV is the uh, consumer discretionary, meaning they have power, you know, to spend. Those are more like luxury items. And XLB is the basic. So all are doing, doing very, very well in here. So that is why these kind of stocks that you should, uh, you know, look into it. So when we come up with any stock pick that through Smart Roby, especially this morning, we'll focus on Smart Roby. You want to make sure you check out that these are the industry, the finance, the NASDAQ, the technology. Those are moving very, very favorably. So the communications is the one that we'll be looking at. So looking into the year to date, Again, year, oh, let me just go back there again. Year to date is still XYC, which is a 9%. You know, uh, because if you look back three months, that is also inclusive of the December. But if you look back starting on the 4th of January 2024, you can see XLC, which is communication, finance, and technology to be running. So if you are buying any stock, especially if you are tend to be a shorter term in the US market because you don't know much, then these would be the sector you want to be focusing. Now, using the VSA 360, as I said before, uh, what we have here, uh, the, uh, apologies for the 19, but let me just bring you up the latest one from our trade VSA, which I do have it here. And you can see 8th of March, okay? So 8th of March, you can see XLK has been up Green Pentagon for the last 8 days. That's pretty good. So XLV uh, is healthcare. Uh, then we have XLP, consumer staple, um, one of my favorite will be semiconductors, which have already been in a nice up movement uh, for 29 days. You can see that a uh, nice movement. But right now we're having this two bar reversal could be weakness. And if you've seen the last time, right, uh, they can turn red, red Pentagon very soon. Now, if you like what you've seen, you think our program is education, give me a thumbs up. So that would encourage myself and my team to produce good an educational program that you're seeing and also let me know who you are listening to so i want to know some of the audience who's listening from our live facebook and we know that you are with us so looking at the xl uh the xsd the semiconductors the basic material we have the energy consumer stable these are the one turning green pentagon you can see since green pentagon and make sure you use green pentagon as the guiding uh, market timing that you have for your tools all right if you have not heard it vsa 360 plus our smart Roby tools are one of the first that have the uh, market timing tools that allows you to go in when there's an up signal and there's a down signal in here all right let's uh, move on to our next segment in here is also very important i think the uh, february inflation rate will be coming up soon so you can see inflation started to taper down on the right hand side in here around 3.09 so uh, jerome power which is the federal reserve chairperson said the feds 
It's not far from the point of cutting interest. And that's what we saw uh, uh, last Friday. The market gaps up. And remember, on any bullish news, there tend to be a lot of distributing that we see in the market. So with the kind of distribution that we saw, and that's why you see the S&P 500 on the left-hand side of the chart, which I'm you know, showing you, you can see the two bar reversal and that's where the market pushing downwards in here so that's going to be uh, a, a, a bit of reversal but i do think that going forward the interest rate cut that we see if it dips below 3.09 then you'll see a likelihood of the rally. So looking from here onwards, you can see uh, right now at the Dow Jones, it is still above the 200-day moving average, above the 20, above the 40, but it did test 39K, which is all-time high. And you know, any times when market touches all-time high, they tend to reverse. You can see up trust, up trust, and up trust. The market will have a bit of hesitation in here but do take note january and february has been very very positive so much likelihood of the correction which is normal we do expect that kind of correction coming in here and much seasonality in here it's usually it's a correction though that's why we are uh, thinking the market will march down uh distributing on stage three on average volume just doing vision stage three you just might be just moving sideways but you know sometimes the market do uh, occasionally move up we don't know so right now if there is a big sell-off we want to see a sign of weakness which is a sell-off bar that actually comes right down in here it is still red pentagon as you can see from here because of the uh, volume that we see now on the uh, nasdaq which has a different picture which continue to march higher you can see on the news last friday right which is a federal reserve said that hey market may cut rates very soon so you can see the market opened up above 1840 broke through the 18,000 uh, resistance which is the nasdaq uh, composite 100 but right now it may look to reverse sell on uh, sell on facts right buy on rumors so railway track is still up you can see the 20 and the 40 that still matching up in a very nice uptrend in here and uh, continuation of uptrend is definitely so so right now we want to look for sign of weakness okay sign of weakness going up that will be good for this market in here now if you are not looking into a u.s market this would be a channel for you to find out more about it all right thank you for those of you who have given me a thumbs up in here really appreciate uh, what your support that we have in here this is not possible without the support from our members and also from the audience now on the S&P 500 which is uh, still in the mid stage 2 bullish market so continue to go higher 51 52k here uh, straightening to go higher in here railway track still up the first quarter of 2024 continue to be strong uh, we are looking to be higher uh, this week Due to the Federal Reserve st uh, statement in here, at one point you do see Nasdaq correcting in here. S and P 500 is still continuing to up it's a, because it's a mixture of the Dow Jones, and also it's still above the 200-day moving average. Now, if you have any questions, uh, do pencil in there. I'm happy to answer. I think that's the whole point that we all want to be open with our education in here and see this as an opportunity to definitely learn more. All right, you can see uptrend is still ongoing for the S&P 500. Now on the stage two shares, the last uh, episode that we did this was uh, in January. You can see 22nd of January. Broadcom, let's take a look at Broadcom, was 1211. Okay, AVGO. Okay, we'll hit one more time, AVGO. And let's look at the stock chart. And it's 1,300. It's gone up by 1%. No doubt there was a reversal if you look back on the last week. But since the green pentagon that we have from 1,211 to 1,300, it's now it's already a red pentagon. That's what we gave you the overall. Now, as I've said before, it's important that you understand the U.S. market and look into buying fractional investing, uh, fractional trading that allows you to buy smaller stocks. And Google... Uh, Visa, Visa done very well. It's one of those stocks I really like uh, because it's a payment. And you know, with payment gateway, everybody have to have. And I'm sure many of you who's listening has a Visa card, right? So you look at Visa has been nice, uply trend. 268 was the time, 22nd of January, and we talk about it. And right now, it's already uh, 280, okay? 280, nice uptrend movement in here as of last Friday. But again, turn red pentagon. 
which is what we saw so far. All right. So this week in the stage two share, we have the ASML, which actually built a lot of the small uh, three nanometers machine from Holland. That's the one that uh, a lot of the Chinese chip maker wanted to get into. Let's take a look at this one. Uh, 1047, but it has dropped since then. Huh? Let's take a look at it. You can see it's been m moving much since the Green Pentagon on 18th of January, around 728 and it has gone up to almost 1047. Exxon Mobil, because we already have the crude oil also moving up, all right? Exxon Mobil here, XOM, we all know lah, uh, Exxon Mobil. Let's look at the chart. It's a 108 here. And uh, yes, it's nicely marching up in a nice uptrend. Switch to a one-month chart, you can see Exxon Mobil. So that also tell you many of our Malaysian stocks will continue to much, much higher too, right? It will much, much higher. Uh, like our Dayang, our Dailong, that will do well. GE and Qcom are the technology. So check it out on Smart Roby. Okay, check it out on Smart Roby in here. And uh, next, we have the uh, daily newsletter. If you have not checked out, check out our daily newsletter in here. Now, for our Muslim friend, uh, uh, that's a way you can check some of your stocks, whether you're Sharia or not. Go over to wahib.com slash my halal, HLA. And what you want to do is look for this Excel spreadsheet. All right, click on that one, and that will show you the types of stocks which you will see here this list of stocks that will tell you uh, these stocks under the exchange trader fund will be uh, showing you these are the uh, more Sharia control stocks that you can buy on okay and uh, for our Roby FA stocks uh, last week we have a uh, no, uh, last episode uh, 22nd of January we have KLAC so you can see KLAC this week it's up 17.7% since January until now, right? Since we picked this, this is a pretty good decent. Let me see what kind of dividend do they give. Oh, oh no, oh, check it out on the Smart Roby apps and you'll know uh, the, the kind of dividend that they give and a good strong stock. Second one we were talking about is uh, Lum Research, which which is gone up by almost 9.2%. Uh, All right, 9.2% for our Roby fundamental stocks. Okay, so that is a strong move. So these kind of stocks are really strong to look at. It's also important that you check out the Smart Roby, look into the fundamental understanding uh, some of the stocks, why they go up, uh, do they do. Now the S&P is still green Pentagon. So bear in mind, 11 of March, uh, hot sector. Okay, so we want to look at the, uh, what is the name of this stock? Tegna, uh, T-E-G-N-A with a dividend of 3.3%. And Fortinet, which is a digital cloud services that don't pay any dividend. So first one is uh, TGNA is the digital media right at the bottom at $13.60. So right now, remember uh, earlier we talked about XLC, communication, right? So this is a communication and it's turning green Pentagon. So who knows, this thing will match back up. And uh, also check out the dividend, 3.3%. Next we have is... Uh, FTNT, a cloud security, which we'll look at it back in our next episode, Smart Roby. So right now it's 72, but do take note, uh, there's a two bar reversal just turning green Pentagon, and this is a technology bound kind of company. It's been going up in a nice straight line here. All right. So our unique proposition is our Smart Roby. So make sure any of the stocks that you have, put it onto your watch list. So whenever the Green Pentagon comes out, your favorite one, like the Magnificent 7, that will be something that you can you know, take action into in here. Remember, Green Pentagon for up signal, Red Pentagon for down signal here, all right? And not to forget, uh, this coming uh, Wednesday, uh, we'll be talking about the U.S. market, how I look into trading the U.S. market on a shorter term with also the uh, Bitcoin too, which I said before, Bitcoin is moving up to the 70,000 target in here, right? So check out the last week, the live Facebook, I talk about the Bitcoin. So lots of good opportunity for the U.S. market, not to forget the Bitcoin too. So this Wednesday and our usual uh, morning show in here. Now, if you have not opened up... Uh, Trading account, we suggest you sign up with our co uh, partner, USMART, from, uh, approved by the uh, Singapore Monetary in here, SG, and you will get 400 credit for Smart Roby using NYVJPPA. All right. So as a summary, the US market is going into the Q4 2024 rally in here. 
and because of the continuation of rates cut by the US Feds, the dividend stocks that we talked about early on, like uh, LAM Research and KLAC do do very well. Now, some of the bullish news I checked before, as I said before, the opportunity that you see right now in Wall Street and cryptocurrency is continual. So here's an opportunity for you to get hold of the US market. Now, if you are a beginner, this is something all the while you wanted to join our premium membership. Here's a chance to develop consistent result before using real money where I would be a speaker taking you through two day looking to the US market and Bitcoin. So it will be a supervised coaching. Uh, what are the lessons we learned from CV2? You can do trades like this before even putting real money, both for the US market and the uh, Bitcoin market in here. I think that's important because we get you to use some of the tools that have been proven to be very, very effective is the cryptocurrency indicator and the US market training rate indicator using Pentagon Guider where you can get consistent result and if there is a continual rally that we've seen which i've already show, shared with you already this will push this market even going higher forward in here so make sure you check it out our uh, up and coming coach this will be on the march 30th okay march 30th is the date all right there is an early bird so if you sign up before the 18th of march there's a very special price for you or check out our uh, page from our telegram channel in here or you can call it up on the number 010-266-9761 for more information on the u.s market right make sure you get hold of the u.s market where the u.s market running and it comes with a 12 month supervised coaching and mentoring which we've been very proud of our member right you can see lesson learns when member continue to make so you can see our uh, over the last uh, cv2 members making 30 percent for six months our top score leaderboard in here another one 32 percent and ye making 30 uh, 31 percent in here real students but trading on the virtual trading platform to ensure that they bring the same set of skill to the u.s market and you can too all right so check out the cost uh, we will begin on the 30th of march early bird on the 18th of march and this you will fall into our cv3 uh, competition which start 7th of March already okay so don't forget that's why we are very proud of our CV1 students still continue to make good profits 16% 15% and so far in here all right so sign up right now and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel if not and for more education in here great review all right with our new feature VSA 360 plenty of benefit that you will definitely enhance both on the Busa market with our smart Roby in here. There is no way we don't believe that you cannot make money this year in 2024. All you have to do is to get the right guidance and the education and that's why we are here for. Think about it, 18 of March is our early bird in here and for a good reasonable price you get a two-day course, 12 month supervised co coaching and mentoring with our SLUT of VSA tools, a suite of VSA tools that will get you. Now, if you have any stocks that you want me to look at, uh, feel free to pencil them in there. I'll be happy to uh, go through with you in here. And uh, don't forget to smash the join our Telegram chat room in here for all our stock market information, which will help you in here. And I think only uh, members and our VSA audience uh, need to find and focus on the right market there are money to be made the question is are you ready uh, with the right information and knowledge i think we here at trade vsa with our smart robbie members in here with our our uh, uh, top score leaderboard have shown you that it is possible to make good decent return in here and a way to give you income especially those of you who have been uh, finding to beat inflation, uh, income trading in here. So that's all I have for this morning. Thank you for coming and uh, we wish you the best and join me this coming Wednesday.